you give us your name and outlet? Uh, Christine Morado, HLN Belgium. Okay, go ahead and roll Well, I've been looking forward to this movie for a very long time, and it was everything that I wanted to see, and so much more. So Love it was really, sure. I loved it, and congratulations on the movie, too. Thank, Thank you. Thank you very much. Well, so, um, what attracted you to your characters? Well, I was attracted to the project. Uh, John Lasseter asked uh, both of us, uh, and, and Sarah, John wasn't a part of it at that point, to uh, come up to San Francisco and do a reading of it. And, you know, it was great. It was wonderful. And John has done so many great um, uh, movies prior. And, of course, to do a Disney movie, to be a part of that catalog is just, it's a dream come true, that, a dream that I didn't even know I had. So. Right. Uh, and like, you know, when we get the script and stuff and you see who these characters are and I see Felix is like the ultimate good guy who just wants to be good at his job. I was like, oh, I can do this. <laughs> <laughs> I get that. This is me. <laughs> <laughs> and it's an honor to be in a Disney movie, right? Huge, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Huge honor. Yeah, huge how honor. does that feel? Like, you, knowing that a lot of kids are going to be watching this movie for years and years. Yeah, and, and it could be on a shelf next to Sleeping Beauty or, right? you know, uh, 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 what is it that the... I can't think of Jungle Book. <laughs> my favorite. I can't think of. Uh, but it's true. Yeah. I mean, yeah. we all grew up with Walt Disney movies and stuff. And mm -hmm. like you were saying, it was like I don't think I ever had the dream or the aspiration. Like I'm going to be in a Disney uh, animated film sometime. But the fact that it's happening, I'm like, are you kidding me? Yeah. So it is. A, it's a thrill. Well, Felix, he was meant to fix things. Right. Um, yes. But what do you think you were meant to do in life? Oh, good question. That's a great question. Mm -hmm. I think, and I think it's mainly mainly because I pride myself in being able to do it, is entertain and make people feel comfortable. I'm mm -hmm. not a person who instigates or stirs right. up mm -hmm. thing, things, but uh, I like people to enjoy themselves and feel comfortable. Maybe I should be a party planner. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I missed out. You can <laughs> be my party planner. Oh, we'll do it. We'll do it. Throw a party. <laughs> yeah. I want to buy you. Well, I think it's really simple, and it kind of uh, maybe sound a little esoteric, but I think it's to be the best person I can be at a, a moment at a time. Because um, sometimes that's, uh, uh, you know, I don't know exactly what my mission is, or I, I don't want to get too heady about that sort of thing, because you tend to paint yourself into a corner. And also, sometimes you can you find yourself reaching for something that just doesn't exist that I can't wrap my arms around. But I can wrap my arms around this very moment and being the best person I can. And with that, get the hell out of this room. You, we've had <laughs> enough Belgium. We've had enough no, Belgium. Belgium today. <laughs> Don't do that to me. <laughs> but uh, what was the funniest moment in the in the recording studio? Well, I mean, the whole thing is funny to like be working. It is work, but mm -hmm. it's the script, and so you're just laughing the whole time. One thing is that uh, a couple of sessions we got to be in the same room at the same time, which is cool because you're feeding off their energy, but mm -hmm. at the same time, I'm like, I can't ruin this by laughing at Jane Lynch. Well, we had, well, God bless you, but we had that wonderful scene where we were in the ne Nestle quicksand, oh God, and that, that was, was so was much fun. Funny! To yeah, and I don't want to give anything away, but you know. That was fun. That was funny. Everybody was laughing. It yeah. was funny, yeah. right? It was really, it was one yeah. of my favorites. <laughs> <Good. laughs> uh, well, so did you play a lot of games growing up? Not so much, but he did. He I played a, a few. We had the Atari 2600, so pretty primitive, but, you know, Pac-Man and Qbert and Pitfall. Are you a kid from the 80s? Uh, my agent would say no, but, <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I'm a kid from the 70s, <laughs> the 1870s. Yeah, right, the 1870s. <laughs> Well, they give me the rub, so it was very yeah. nice. I love you, Thank you, Christine. <laughs> <Thank you. laughs>